New Muzzle Loading Book and Other Book Developments William Hovey Smith, 2021 This is Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman and we have several new developments on the book writing front that I would like to introduce you to. First off, the last of our short shot series on muzzle loading books, Building or Restoring Your Muzzle Loader is now about to be published. It is in the hands of the publisher right now and the ebook will appear on Amazon in approximately seven to ten days so Book Baby tells me. Now what is in this book? This book is about building muzzle loaders from kits. Bon Richard, whom you may know, was built from a kit from David Peter Solid. One of the more expensive kits available, but it is a 1777 French flintlock 69 caliber musket that I have cut down and modified, and we have videos about that. And they are also linked to appropriate sections of the text in the book. <laughs> so you can e-read the book, click on the video, and see it right there before you. Okay. Now what else do we cover? We also show and describe the building of this Traditions Crockett Rifle which is a very popular 32 caliber squirrel gun kit. And I show as all the other steps of refinishing a gun. So if you've ever been thinking about giving one or getting one to rebuild, then by all means, get my book. Now, I shoot and use unusual things. Among these was another traditions kit, Young Blunderbuss here. Now Young Blunderbuss and I have been on many adventures uh, all the way from New York State to very nearly to the Florida Everglades and we have hunted deer and we have hunted hogs, and we have hunted bear, and we have killed swan, as well as turkey and geese, using this gun. So, uh, this is how you actually build it and what it's like, and what I had done to it. We also talk about handguns. I use muzzle loading and cartridge guns for hunting. This happens to be the Ruger Old Army, and right now it has a cartridge cylinder in it for 45 long coat, available from Taylor and Company and others. Uh, in my book, I describe building a Colt Uberti Walker kit and what we did to it which included putting a rail on the top so you could put proper sights on it as well as fixing the loading lever which continuously fell down and black nitride coating it so I made what I call a super walker pistol and we successfully took game with it before I sold the gun. Another significant element of the book, which is also supported by YouTube videos, covers rebuilding original muzzleloading guns. This photo is of an original Brunswick rifle taken apart just as it was received. And here I show the cleaned Brunswick rifle, as well as a raw stock where I'm making another Brunswick rifle new from parts. And here is a hog shot with a rebuilt Brunswick rifle. 
Now, the Brunswick rifle is an unusual gun, and it shoots a special belted ball. And here is a view of yet a third Brunswick rifle that I also cleaned. So this book will be available on Amazon, Baker and Taylor, and other sources in about seven days to two weeks. Now, what have we done otherwise? We have received a very favorable review from Kirkus concerning my most recent business book, Make Your Own Job Anytime, Anywhere, at Any Age. Uh, what the Kirkus Review said was, a guide for displaced or disgruntled employees focuses on the fundamentals of starting a business. The premise of entrepreneur author Smith's manual, a follow-up to his book Create Your Own Job Security, 2018, is that the best way for workers to ensure their futures is to make their own jobs. Beginning with an overview of today's workplace in Chapter 1, Smith discusses older workers who are let go in favor of younger workers, the rise of the gig economy, in which he participated as a contract consultant, and the potential cost of automation. The author quickly transitions from the introductory content to the basics of establishing a business in Chapter 2. He first examines the three stages of forming and operating a business, concept, people, and execution. Smith suggests that most people think too small. Still, the book covers a broad range of areas and offers some solid advice. A discussion of selling locally and regionally versus internationally should be useful for globally oriented entrepreneurs. Smith's uncluttered prose reflects his passions for small business, a worthy rudimentary resource for business newbies. And we now have one from the U.S. Review of Books. And this one is by Jordana Landsman. Now, the Kirkus Reviews are anonymous. The generous, comprehensive entrepreneurial guide poached that the modern workplace is a shifting, impermanent, and patently disloyal institution that can lead an unprepared worker to a surprising state of unemployment or underemployment at a moment's notice. Entrepreneurism is the answer here as a preemptive safety net for savvy workers who recognize the precarious lack of security in working for our employers who might downsize, relocate, or lay off workers at any time, leaving employees out of work, and, but for a new business venture, lacking the means to maintain financial stability and social, emotional, and psychological well-being. In short, the message here is to be a skilled, trained, and capable worker and be prepared to use those skills in one's own business if and when the time occurs. Smith's book offers articulate, well-organized, and fresh guidance on the conventional components of starting a business, including the analysis required to assess goals, select a business, and name target audience and customers, choose a structure, secure funding, and know and comply with legalities. While this information may be found in any number of business startup guides, the valuable perspective of this book is to combine the proven expertise of a seasoned professional with up-to-the-minute modern guidance. It includes useful information on the gig economy, online crowdsource funding platforms, running a virtual organization with geographically distributed members, and the limitless geographic potential of the modern marketplace. Yet, while this important information is carefully curated here for maximum usefulness, the book's heart and soul are in the author's sharing of his own life experiences. His losses and successes are engaging and humanizing, and they make a case for the entrepreneurial path he recommends. And this book is fully recommended by the U.S. Review. But this, what the last sentence means is that the U.S. Review of Books, out of the 
million books that were published this year only formally recommends a small percentage of those books. Say 5%, 10%. And mine was one of those books. So, our new business book has definite positive recommendations from two of the most valued book review sources in the country. Hmm. So, if you have anyone thinking about any stage of business preparation, from teenagers to seniors, get them the book. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. On my novel, Until Death Do You Part, we are continuing to progress with it. And we also have a Kirkus review about that, which was covered in a previous video. Uh, we authors receive a lot of solicitations from companies of every sort, uh, almost every day. I get about six a week. Uh, some of these are useful, uh, some of them may not be useful, and some of them are outright fraudulent. So if you're an author and you're plugging your book and you wrote it over the coronavirus, flocked out, well, be very careful about who approaches you about it and if it makes real sense. For example, one company said that a major company was interested in this book and he claimed that he had a contract on his desk for $200,000 for this book. Well, wow. Now, if you were an author, that's real serious money. However, uh, outdoor books do not sell very well. I went to the book fair in Frankfurt, Germany and I could not find one single book out of the thousands I looked at from anywhere in the world that covered shooting and hunting per se and hunting game. Well, there were books on guns and there were books on animals, but there was absolutely nothing I could find on those shelves about hunting them. Hmm. For a major publisher to talk that kind of money to publish extreme muzzleloading, which is for a very specialized and small part of the hunting market, and offer that kind of money is just completely ridiculous. Oh, it'd be wonderful if it were so, but I put that in the same category as being receiving a phone call that I'd won the Nigerian lottery, and all I had to do was to get all this money was just to pay them a thousand dollars and they'd ship it over to me. Oh yeah, I bet. But now, this is Hovey Smith reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe, goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. If you're an older guy like I am and you want a post-retirement business, select one that really excites you and is within your physical capabilities. For more information about my books, blogs, and nearly 900 videos, go to my website, www.hoviesmith.com. To help support this channel, buy my books. Order now for Christmas delivery. Make your own job, and my novel, Until Death Do You Part, are available in softcover, as ebook, and as an audiobook from Amazon.com and other online book outlets worldwide. To find out more about my business books, go to createyourownjobsecurity.com. To discover the latest of my novel, screenplay, and movie project, go to fathertogrooms.net. Hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Goodbye and God bless.